Four laps are racing. Wilford and Smee for Australia. Wilbur and Combs and they've got the green and it's Wilbur puts a pedal to the metal as they go down the main straight into turn number one. It's Ed Wilbur still holding it. Wilford up the high line. Wilbur almost loses it. Wilford does the right thing and backs off Combs through the third and Smee bringing up the rear as they go into turn number three. It's still Big Ed Wilbur. Have a look at the Speedway Cowboy coming back at him now and they come off turn number four and it's still Wilbur. Rod Combs tagging onto the tail of uh, Wilford as they go back into turn number one and is Wilford holding them back as this the team's tactics that they're going to use this evening as they go down the back chute. Turn number three is still over. Combs out with a problem. That leaves the two Aussies versus Wilbur. They haven't got long to do it in. Round they go in the main chute and it's still Wilbur hanging on. Turn number one, Ed Wilbur in the 21 car leading New South Wales number one. Wilford now look at Wilford up in the high line there, but it's still Wilbur. White flag being prepared, which will be one lap to go for the leader as he comes down the main chute, and it's still the big American himself, Ed Wilbur, with one to go. Wilford having another look at the line, faster into the corners. Wilbur a little bit slow up the back, and uh, Will and the Speedway Cowboy to wash off some speed there to avoid a collision. But unless uh, bad luck comes about him, it's going to be Wilbur as he comes around to receive the checkered flag. First breath of the Americans. Wilford over the line, second and in third place. Car number 23, Gordon Smee. will wait for a race time. Something came off Rodney Combs' car during that race down in turn two. Not sure what it was, but uh, Combs' car stopped like it had been shot there. And uh, we'll cross to uh, Frank Carmody in a moment and we'll have uh, a race time because the race was run at completed distance. A great win to Big Ed Wilbur in car number one. Second place to Cowboy Lilford who pressed him all the way but just didn't quite have the guns to pull it off. And Gordon Smee, once he saw that Combs was out, was quite capable. Uh, quite uh, pleased to just pick up the third placing there and stack up the points for the Australian team. The, the race time, 1 minute 16.04, 1 minute 16.04 uh, to Big Ed Wilbur and the American captain starting it off in a winning note tonight uh, with 1 minute 16.04, the win, second and third placing going to the two Australians, Lawford and uh, Gordon Smee. Off the outside, Pearson off three and Dyer off four. Four laps for the second heat of the Australia versus America sedan car test as they come around. The green's on display and it's Cartwright who jumps. Klein on the outside. Cartwright down on the pole line. Klein drifting it out wide. Dyer trying to get in in the inside. Sticks his wheel in the inside of Klein's car and takes over second placing. It's Australia one and two. Get out there on the fence and cheer for the Australians. These are valuable points they're stacking up in the early stages of the races. It's Australia 1 and 2 with Cartwright and Dyer. Klein and Pearson's car sounding uh, not particularly good as they went past that time with two laps down. It's Cartwright and Dyer running 1 and 2, the local favourites, and Mike Klein looking like the only Ameri American that can do anything about it in this heat. Cartwright doing it beautifully in the Doherty Transport Corvette. Jimmy Dyer in the Dyer's Automotive Services Camaro sitting in his tail. Not worried about going for the lead at this stage, just making sure that Klein stays behind in the third placing. And this will, if they finish in this position, uh, this will give Australia a big five points and the Americans only one. Great flag out with one lap to go. And it's Cartwright leading from Dyer. Klein tries the big run around the outside. Dyer lets the car drift out wide and blocks the line off. It's Pearson now who moves up on the tail of Klein to see if he can improve the position, but I think the Americans have left it too late. And let's have a big cheer for John Cartwright who wins the heat. Jim Dyer in second place. Third place will be Mike Klein and fourth place John Pearson. Put him together down the back straight there. What has he done? It's a great win to the Aussies running 1-2.